um, Michael F. Roizen, R-O-I-Z-E-N. I am chair of the Wellness Institute of the Cleveland Clinic. Dr. Roizen, can you tell us what is atherosclerosis? What causes atherosclerosis is three processes. Something happens to weaken the junction between endothelial cells. And that's where that LDL cholesterol seeps in. And then over years you get chronic inflammation and then an acute inflammatory thing causes that plaque to rupture, which causes heart disease and stroke, memory loss, impotence, even decay in orgasm quality and wrinkling. What seems to antagonize all three is a purified omega-7. That is, it decreases insulin resistance, lowering blood sugar. It decreases hepatic fat. At least in the animal models, it's really good data. In human models, we have decreased triglycerides reflecting that. And it decreases acute and chronic inflammation based on the changes in pro-inflammatory gene changes in mice and other animals and the decrease in CRP. So all three things seem to be helped by a purified omega-7. We don't know of any side effects yet from that. So at least for me, it's worth the benefit to risk. It seems everyone's heard of omega-3, 6, and 9. What is purified omega-7 and why is it important? So the odd omega-7s, there was some epidemiologic data, data, weak data, from Japan and from Mass General, from one of the Harvard hospitals, showing that that omega-7 decreased hepatic fat accumulation, decreased metabolic syndrome, decreased insulin resistance. So that data led to more studies, some human epidemiologic studies, showing a decreased metabolic syndrome in those people in the cardiovascular health study with the highest levels of omega-7. And then there have been some more intense animal studies, randomized controlled trials, showing a decrease in plaque formation in an animal model. In humans, it, the early studies show, and they're consistent, show a decrease in triglycerides, a decrease in LDL, an increase in HDL, and a decrease in CRP, all indicating this improvement in insulin resistance an improvement in chronic inflammation, decreased hepatic fat accumulation, and consistent with the animal data in decreasing pro-inflammatory markers. This is exciting information, not only because of the potential to help individuals, but because it could have an enormous impact on our national economy. Obviously, I consider this really exciting information about the omega-7 benefits in decreasing inflammation, in decreasing triglycerides, in decreasing hepatic fat accumulation, to me, it's wonderful, especially because it has no known side effect that I can find out. Now, everything's got some side effect, but we can't find any with this. Um, and the great benefit is it may have a huge benefit for our populations as a whole, because obviously metabolic syndrome and insulin resistance, diabetes type 2, are big things that we need to tackle for us to be more competitive for jobs and for the United States to be more competitive as a society.